Hello everyone, welcome to the Jewish Week Online. I'm your host, Aaron Herman. Technology is transforming the way you learn, play, and connect. We're here at TechCrunch Disrupt, and we had the opportunity to check out some of the hottest new Israeli technology firms in the market today. Let's take a closer look. People love taking pictures, and now you have enhancements to make their pictures pop. Let's hear about your technology. Okay. Well, basically, um, the idea is not to correct photo, but to enhance it, to add some elements, make it a little bit different than what it is in a very simple way. Let, let me demonstrate it. Let me take a photo. Um, let's choose... Hold on. Okay, let me choose this photo. And we'll go to... This is the, the, the photo, natural photo. We'll start to add some elements, like take the lightning, We'll, we can rotate, resize, relocate, do whatever we want to do with it. we we'll put it here. Let's take some sun through some enhance it, put it here. Let's add some with the brushes. We have a swipe things. Let's take some birds. We'll do it with the swipe of a finger. And I can take also another element. We can do some... Um, Let's take the tornado, make it really big one, a nice one in the background, put it here. And let me show you the other thing. Basically, you can, this is some prepared uh, elements. Now, we can do any, any elements we want from our photo. Let's take another photo. Uh, we'll try to do in the same concept. So we'll, let's choose the elephant. Another photo of another elephant. You can do it with any other photo. We'll use the mask. Now all I have to do is I will just mark the elephant. I won't do it really nice. I will do it really quick for the demo purposes, okay? We'll do it this way. Now I choose V. He will cut the elephant and give it a blare so we can just locate it, resize it, put it here or here. And here it is. So you see that the blending of the technology know how to do it with the right colors. I can also add now a layer. We can add a filter on it, let's say like this one. And it will add, it will now put a whole layer for a different color which try to level up everything so it will really look like a whole new photo. And this is made with seconds. I can do many things, cartoons, I can do some fun stuff. Uh, it can be we have a whole concept of greeting, like all the elements with the, will be within a greeting. Um, and it really uh, take it to a different level with doing it very simple. This is the application. This is Master, why, it's not on the area. Though. Why do you think Israelis are so innovative? That's a good question though. I don't know. I think that uh, the environment that we are living in, it's so uh, tense. And we try to find some solution to all kinds of, of problems that we hit on a regular daily life. Mm, but it's a good question. I have no clue why. <laughs> don't know. I think it can be done everywhere. Um, I don't know. Maybe we have some good education of, high, of uh, high tech. One of the most frustrating things is you know, you're walking down the street and you're trying to figure out how to, how to like something or to comment and you just can't do it effectively sometimes on your mobile device. And your company does something really interesting and in using your voice in social media. Run, run us through what you do. So everything, that's exactly the thing, you know, since in some cases in life, you don't want to text. Sometimes you just want to upload something which is very personal. So you just use your voice using your Wonder Voice app and just upload any type of content that you wish to have a personalized moment, right? You can upload a, and congratulate your, your friend uh, for his birthday using your voice and not totally, you know, totally uh, use it using your uh, text messages. And one of the interesting things that you can do with this, let's say you have a disability, not able to use your hands, all you have is your voice. You now have an actually ability to use social networking in a new way. Right, so this is a very unique, this is actually a revolution in terms of how we interact with social content. Uh, what Wondervoice has enabled a very unique voice platform that actually overcomes voice engine's traditional capabilities 
to handle, uh, or basically incompatibility, to handle informal and unstructured content which is available on social networks. So we're enabling a very unique type of pro uh, platform which actually gives you the ability to understand social content and basically understand you when you're talking about social content and that actually integrates into your social network that you're working with on a daily basis. So this is totally virtual, you can do whatever you want using your Facebook or Twitter uh, uh, app, but without looking at it, without even interacting it with it manually, just walk, talking to it and just interacting with it vocally. Tell us a little bit about your technology behind this. How does it work? Well, we have built a very unique artificial intelligence engine, which is uh, adapts to the content of our real life. So it's not a traditional engine which actually takes content and read it to you or just trying to understand what you're talking. We're actually building a, a very specific, unique sphere of context for you as a user you, and for the, specifically with the domain that you're interacting with and the location that you're in to enable you a very unique and uh, 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 useful voice interface that allows it to interact with the real life content uh, using your voice. Why do you think Israelis are so good in technology? Well, I think it's not specifically the Israeli, I would say, geography, but I do think it's something that we have about not uh, 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 agreeing or not moving forward when agreeing to the current constraints that platforms has. For example, I wanted to have a, such a solution to interact with social content uh, in my car, but I couldn't find one. And then I tried to, to look, why, why, what is the reason? So we don't take things as granted, we just uh, think how we can make it better for our use, to make people's, people's life more happy, to bring happiness, and to make uh, things more useful in, the, in our daily interaction. Hi, I'm Eli Singer, the CEO of Zizio. We are an Israeli software company and we revolutionize e-commerce by allowing e-commerce sites not only help people who know what products they're looking for, but help people who don't know what they're looking for discover products based on what their friends and everybody else is looking at right now. Hi, my name is Yotam. I'm the co-founder and VP of business development at Webits. Webits is a text-to-video technology. We can turn any textual content, article, post, or feed over the web into a video you can watch on any device. I'm Rebecca Stefanski, and I work at Viewbix. Viewbix allows you to take existing video and add calls to action and apps that can increase conversions for your business, be it lead generation, sales, more information, or just having fo people follow you on Twitter. That video, with all of your customization, branding, logo, Apps can then be shared all across the web and mobile, keeping all of your information intact like a mini website. What excites you about technology and why you decide to create this company? Um, right, so uh, actually we, are, we love tech, we love uh, gadgets and mobile devices and uh, we love uh, the fact that today the devices are smart and uh, you can do a lot with them. And uh, in order to do it, you need this information. You need to know how to do it, what to download, what to install. And, um, and it keeps you excited over time. So uh, you buy the device, and then you get new stuff on an ongoing basis. And uh, it makes it even uh, more fun. Whenever you start a company, you're not exactly sure where things are going to go. It's like when you have that idea to do these things, what has been your biggest motivator in making your company a success? Um, I think uh, the users. I mean, uh, we started and early on we started uh, listening to feedback from, you, from our users and uh, improving the product, listening to what our users uh, were uh, interested in, uh, new features and uh, improvements and uh, that led us through uh, our product development and we're still uh, listening. So. Uh, if you have any new ideas for us. Why are Israelis so innovative? Uh, hard question. <laughs> um, well, I think that uh, we got it from uh, the military service. People are always thinking out of the box, trying to improve stuff, and I um, guess that leads to a lot of startups. Hi, my name is Carl Brill. I'm the founder and CEO of uh, Upsite. Upside is a cool 
platform that helps website to go mobile in a very fast and easy way. We deliver uh, web apps, it's the HTML version, and we're delivering uh, iOS, Android, and uh, Windows Phone native apps that you install from the app stores. Hi, I'm Guillaume, the uh, VP of product of TVTAC. Uh, TVTAC is a video recognition platform that allows viewers to interact with their TV. Uh, so you simply point your device at the screen while the video is playing, and in less than a second we identify the content that you're watching and then you interact with it. Uh, you can buy a product that you see on a commercial, share an instant that you see on a live uh, sport event, and uh, um, many more opportunities. Hi, um, my name is Moti Cohen, and I'm the CEO and founder of Cumers. Um, we are an Israeli startup company based in Tel Aviv. Now we open our first office in San Fran. Cumers is a, a social gaming platform. Basically, like you have WordPress to create your old blog, Cumor is providing you an option to create your own social games and become your own Zynga. Our totally uh, uh, free service uh, providing you uh, tools where you can uh, start to uh, create your own game, implement them in your social networks such as Facebook, Twitter or, or your blog and start to engage your audience using games and game mechanics. Our, uh, our platform and technology basically uh, make it uh, very easy for anyone without any coding necessary uh, to create his own game with his own look and feel of the game and start uh, uh, incentivizing his followers and his fans or even his friends to come and play with him based on the game. If you would like to, I will even could show you. Uh, this is kind of the end result you can achieve with our system. That's something that we created for, uh, for TechCrunch, for the Disrupt. As you see, the entire look and feel of the game is totally be customizable for your own uh, brand. For example, one of the game engines for now is uh, we're using a, a fruit uh, a slasher uh, kind of engine. And uh, as you see, the entire element in the game is fully customizable. The game itself has its own social framework when users can see themselves against their friends and against the entire community that plays in the game. They can share it with their friends and with the world and they can win awesome prizes that uh, uh, the sponsor is providing. Online shopping is a very data intensive process. Think about how much time you spend when you want to buy a product or service online. Friendizeme relieves that hench by essentially tapping your friend's knowledge. We leverage a social graph to bring you recommendations from friends, people you know, being it in a very simple way. Hi, I'm Rotem Tal from datini.com. I'll tell you shortly about my product. Datini.com is a search engine that serves as a one-stop to plan your night according to your preferences. When I say preferences, I mean a theme for the night, a budget, and style of food that you like. Uh, after you choose those elements, we'll provide you a crafted itinerary in which you can choose uh, which one fits you the best and enjoy your night. Hi, my name is Oz Etzioni. I'm from Clinch. Uh, and Clinch uh, turns your videos and photos into immersive multi-angle movies by combining footage and content from multiple sources based on similar location and time. Hi, this is Asher Edelman from Talkster. We're a live chat platform for websites that enable web visitors to see and chat with the other people who are on the same websites at the same time as them. Hi, I'm Asaf from uh, Opinion Stage. We're a social opinion and debating platform. Uh, we uh, take the, the issue of uh, opinions and structure it so that we create tools that are both very engaging uh, but also uh, very deep. You can uh, learn a lot of information about who supports what, why, and get the best arguments for each side. Every woman knows what works for them. And uh, your company does something really unique in trying to help them better fit themselves. Let's, let's hear more about it. Um, essentially what it is, with women, everyone has a different shape, a different size, different style and different issues. But it's the brands as well, they also have different sizes and different shapes. So what we do is we're able to match them up together. We have special bra fitted technology that, based on women crowdsourcing, helps to create a personal shop with only the bras that are going to fit each woman. And also we can recommend a size as well, which is where the problem lies. And walk us through how this works. Okay, so every woman that comes to Briola, they tell us about their favorite bra that they currently love to wear. So what brand, what size, what style. And we find the women that are walking around with the exact same bra and the exact same style. And we are able to give them the shop based on those bras. Why do you think Israelis are so innovative? 
Um, Israelis are very innovative because they are full of energy, they have life, they have um, so many creative ideas and that's what makes it one of the biggest best startup areas ever and it's where all the energy is. <laughs> Hi, my name is Eli Sapir and this is Aptopia. We basically help developers get their apps acquired. And what does that mean? So we are the mobile app brokers. We essentially let you sell your app, the app, the ownership of the app, the users, the revenues, the code, everything. And you can sell that to a different user. We also enable consolidation on the app store. So if competitors want to buy out their other competitors, they can go in and buy their users or buy their technology and uh, move them over to their app. So we are cleaning up app stores, providing developers with liquidity, uh, and providing brands with uh, visibility into what apps are out there that they can acquire and add to their portfolio. Moti Kana, rent to buy. Would you try a car before buying it, right before you buy it? You have a three day test drive with an option to buy. That's what we do. We're a platform of uh, people looking to sell the car, looking to buy the car, and sharing in between. As you can see, there's some fantastic Israeli companies that are transforming the way we connect to each other. This is Aaron Herman, Day for Watching. Thank you.